You scored your first goal for Exeter City on Tuesday night. How good did that feel? Yeah, no, it was a weight off my shoulders, I think. Um, it's been a long time coming, obviously, to get a, um, a goal. It's been a while for myself. Um, but to get it so early on um, after joining the club and that, um, that really helps. And, it, and it's um, obviously you get a lot of confidence off of it as well. I mean, how was your, your first few weeks, about a month now? How, how's that been for you? I know you said in a previous interview that, you know, you're a lot more confident and you think you've become a better person in the last month. Yeah, no, it's been it's been um, it's been a real productive month. Um, it's been frustrating because we've had a few games called off as well. Um, but yeah, to to get the assist against Bradford and and the goal against Colchester, it's really helped. Uh, but I may have been made to feel really welcome, and the 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 coaches have really helped with the um, the videos as well, being able to show me how um, how they want me to play and stuff. So it's given me a new lease of life. It's it's freshened my season up which is what I probably needed so um, I've just got to carry on now and hopefully continue my form on. Obviously you're a versatile player we've seen you on the left where your assist came against Bradford we've, we've seen you on the, on the right and, and the goal on Tuesday came from you being in the middle I mean do you have a preferred position that you like to be in or, or are you just happy to, to be anywhere really? No I'm happy just to be anywhere I think you've got to be able to read the game um, and um, yeah, I made a run inside on Tuesday night and, and luckily Josh Key found me with a great uh, great cross. Um, but I think a good thing about the front three was that we could chop and change, you know, um, and you, you, we got the gaffer gives us a real freedom to go and play, um, which is important. We saw on Tuesday night as well, the pitch at Colchester, it was, you know, it was a bit messy on one side. Um Got a similar situation at home at the moment. What's it like playing on a pitch like that, that that's heavy? Because I mean, I think you. It's not too bad. Far. I mean, I played at Newport for four years. So it's not. <laughs> it's not too bad to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't mind it to be honest. You know, I think you've got to play percentage football, and then when it comes, when you, you've got to win your seconds, and then and then clean it up from there, and then and then um, be productive in the final third. Um, but we know playing on some certain pitches that. There's going to be mistakes, um, and you've got to be able to bail your mate out if he makes a mistake. Um, and we can't make excuses. We just got to carry on the momentum and carry on trying to get three points. On to Crawley on Saturday, and I know, I know it's a team that you you face many times, and um, obviously extra are no strangers to playing them as well. They've had a, a fairly good start to the season, but they've perhaps maybe tailed off in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think it's like a lot of teams in this division. I think there's a lot that started well and have maybe just dropped off over the Christmas period. Um, it happens to a lot of teams. Um, but we know that they're a very dangerous side. They're good going forwards. Um, but we've just got to exploit weaknesses. Um, yeah, and every time you go to Crawley, it's a tough game. There's no easy games in League Two, and we know that. Um, but we've just got to be confident in ourselves, confident in the recent run of form that we've had. Um, yeah, and just try and carry on try and carry on the good form. And it's so, so tight in, in that top, sort of top 10, if you like. We know that, you know, one win and we could be right up the top. Yeah, I mean, that is, yeah, one win, I think it takes us fourth. Two wins, you could be in the automatic, but two two defeats and you could be down in 10th or 11th. You know, it's, it, is, it is what it is. There's always, there's always a late runner in League Two that always seems to make the playoffs. Um, and I don't think it'll be any different this year. I think there'll be a, probably a late, a late running team with good form that will probably nick the playoffs. Um, but yeah, every I think everyone's beating everyone. I mean, at the top at the moment, um, teams are dropping points where you don't expect them to. Um, but we just got to concentrate on ourselves and um, yeah, and try and just be as consistent consistent as possible towards the end of the season.